What is up, everybody? Arctopod was back here with another zoo video. We're going to go down to the special creatures section of the zoo. And down here, immediately, you can see we have Toast, Rabbit, and Jeb, Sheep. So these two creatures um, are created with the use of the name tag. So you name a normal rabbit Toast with a name tag. And it'll get this cool skin here with the black ears and the black behind. Pretty cool rabbit. Behaves exactly the same as any other rabbit. Over here we have the Jeb sheep created with the Jeb underscore name tag. And it cycles the sheep through all the different types of colors that you can ever find on a sheep or ever place on a sheep. However, when sheared or killed, the sheep still drop their actual color that you see before placing the name tag. Okay, so over here we have the killer bunny. A reference to the Monty Python scene where there's a freaking rabbit that just massacres like everybody. Leaps really far. Let's see it in action. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, look at that rabbit popping up out of there. And just mowing down that dog in two hits. Pretty brutal creatures. They do not spawn in the game, sadly. But yeah, I think they might have had at one point. Pretty cool creatures for sure. Yo, over here we have the baby zombies that ride chickens. Otherwise known as chicken jockeys. So they most commonly will spawn like this as the husk or the normal baby zombie. And... They have incredible speed. I don't know if they're that much more dangerous than a normal baby zombie, but they're really freaking cool and really interesting. Over here we have the baby pig zombie, chicken zombie, chicken jockey, I mean. Um, these can spawn in the nether, as a matter of fact. I'm pretty sure they can. Very, very, very rare, because you're spawning a chicken in the nether, which is incredibly uncommon. But it can apparently happen. These guys are pretty brutal, but I... They are behaving neutrally, just like normal pig zombies. Um, villager zombie chicken jockey over here. This is just a villager skinned zombie, baby zombie, on a chicken. Very interesting. Similar to these guys here. Um, but just has a different skin. Very, very cool. These guys are also very, very rare. Iron Golem over here. This is a utility mob, as they call it, on the wiki. It means you can craft it um, like the Wither Boss and like the Snow Golem. But like, uh, So these two golems here, I'm just going to talk about them together, because they behave quite similarly, except the Iron Golem is just much more powerful. Iron Golem will beat stuff to death. Any hostile mob, it also actually spawns at villages, while the snow golem throws snowballs at hostile mobs. Does a little bit of damage, maybe? But mainly does knockback. Kind of useful, but more, more like just a really cool looking mob. Over here we have Powered Creeper. This is very rare, as um, it's only possible when a lightning bolt strikes a creeper. You would never, ever see four powered creepers right next to each other like you do here. But the thing about these is that you get a very large blast radius, and you don't want to be anywhere near these things. Definitely never. Traditional spider jockey over here. So I disabled all the spiders from being able to move because they were killing all the skeletons on their back. I don't know why they were doing that, but it's a strange AI. With these spider jockeys but these are just a traditional spider with a traditional skeleton on their back most common of any type of spider jockey and then over here we have all the other ones which are very rare the most common one of these would be this stray type on the normal spider because this would spawn above ground um, in a cold area then the second most common would probably be uh, these two cave spider types this would, uh, the stray one would be in a cold biome. The normal skeleton would be in any biome, so the normal skeleton would be more common. But that would have to be down by a cave spider spawner. And I don't know if that's really very likely to happen, but it is possible. And then 
I've heard in some places that the Wither Skeleton Spider Jockey is possible to spawn, but in others that it's not. So, I don't know about this one, but it is very cool, and it, it would be really cool if it was in the game. Not too sure about that one, though. I'm pretty sure the Cave Spider variant is not naturally spawning. But I'm, I think it might be possible for this one to spawn. And then we're going to go over, over here to the um, skeleton and the zombie horses. So this, these two guys over here are the only ones remaining of the skeleton trap horse. The other ones must have suffocated. It keeps happening to all these mobs. So these guys are possible when a lightning bolt strikes a normal horse. Then that horse becomes a trap horse, and when you come near it, it becomes four of these trap of these skeleton horses with skeletons on their backs. And the skeletons will always have the enchanted helmet and the enchanted bow. But in peaceful mode, the same thing can happen, but it'll only spawn the skeleton horses, which are tameable and rideable with a saddle. The zombie horse, however, is not. Uh, a naturally spawning mob. You will never see it in the game, just in the files of the game. I accidentally just placed a glass paint. Uh, the ender dragon over here, you can see it's in its passive state where it's just hovering. Um, it can't do any damage to anything right now. It is the primary boss of the game. If you know Minecraft, you will know the ender dragon. Very difficult boss fight. You have to be well equipped, well prepared to fight that boss fight. Um, you have to go to the end and whatnot. Very difficult. Um, you have to probably read up on it to fight this guy, but you get some good stuff when you kill him. You can go to the end city. Whatever you want to do after you kill him, you basically beat the game. That's the whole point of the game, but not that many people play it like that. We have the Wither over here. This is, this is the Wither boss made with Wither Skeleton Skulls, which are rare, as well as Soul Sand. And this thing can be crafted as many times as you want to craft it. It's a hard boss fight. Shoots freaking explosive skulls out of its skulls. <laughs> and then it will just shoot pretty much anything that moves. I mean, it's trying to, but I disabled block breaking over here so it's just sticking itself against the wall can't do jack shit um, definitely a very brutal boss mob over here we have the giant this is the last of the mobs sadly in the special section but this thing does not spawn naturally you will only really see it um, in adventure maps and servers and it is basically just a big ass zombie with a lot more health well, health and it has a very strange um, hit detection field. So be careful if you ever see that in a server. Pretty intense stuff. Has like 100 health compared to your 20 health in this game. But anyway, that that's it, guys, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't seen the other parts of the zoo, go ahead and watch those if you want to. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't comment if i missed anything and overall guys have an absolutely fantastic day i will see you all in the next video